Hey guys, it's Kristen aka Coco Games and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be diving in to me doing things in my Ultimate Sims world. If you are new to the channel, which a lot of you are, this is my Ultimate Sims save file. So Ultimate Sims world save file, I guess. It's a thing I've been doing on my channel for the last year or so where basically I'm trying to make the ultimate sims save file everything is cc from the sims in the world to their houses to the things around them and i just basically want my world to feel full and realistic um a lot of you have asked me that have come to the channel like where do i get this save file from i got it from nowhere <laughs> i'm making it myself i don't plan on releasing <laughs> my save world at all because it's so much cc but i do sporadically release builds and things like that on my patreon but today we're gonna be doing a bunch in the save file because like <laughs> this cottage living update it has it looking dry y'all it's really sad like it's not even funny um so i'll probably explain to y'all a little later on the effects it's had on my save file but right now i'm actually showing you all a build that i started on for um a college bookstore that i'm gonna be putting in brightchester because you all know if you've watched my series soul ties that indigo is going to be going to howard university thanks to alexis ariel's overrides and so i wanted to have like a bookstore or like even just other places that represent that specific school i even made this custom sign yes i meshed that sign y'all so you won't be able to find it anywhere else i made that sign i will eventually be releasing in this store it's just you'll see down the line i have to customize a lot because i want this to look like a real bookstore and thankfully enough i've actually worked at a barnes and noble bookstore for college so i kind of know what they have um but it's like things that i place down in this build that you'll see that i'm gonna completely customize like and make it say howard or be like howard merch so I'm super excited about it, but I'm definitely not going to be finished in time for me to use it in solo ties, but it's cute for, you know, what it is. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you all this because I'm starting to build up Brightchester, which is really exciting because college is a part of your life, or at least, you know, The Sims Live, I guess, if you feel like doing that. And The Sims who I do choose to go to college, like, I want them to have a full experience and going to get your books and stuff for school is it's giving me that but um yeah so this is just me building a little bit of it and then later we're gonna do more stuff
Okay, so of course we have some added things now with uh cottage living coming out. So now we have Hemford on Badgley, which is super exciting because it actually is a pretty beautiful place, you know, especially for that country vibe, that cottage vibe. Um and yeah, I I like it. This is going to be for me. I always tell y'all I have like a city or a town or something that I assimilate the world to. For me, Hemford on Badgley is definitely going to be like a North Carolina, South Carolina for me. Um, and I think that kind of works out perfect with my Willow Creek in my head being more like, um in Atlanta because it has more like city things in it and this has like a could be going to like a town part or you could be just completely inland so I think that's what this is going to be for me but as you see with the update it's taken away my custom overlay matte thing so it looks so ugly, y'all. It looks so ugly, but at least it's filled in, I guess. <laughs> I'm so sad because the map overlays that I usually use that makes my, like, world look good, it's gone. So I don't know if the person is going to update it or not. I hope they do. But right now, I haven't seen an update for it, so my world looks like this. Also, I don't know if it's the update or just, like my computer being annoying but my reshade stopped working like it was like clashing with a program I downloaded months ago and I had to take out reshade I don't know if I'm going to put it back to be honest because my game has been running smoother without it um I might to be honest because I, I low-key miss the shadows and how it added contrast to the game because this game has no contrast. But we'll see. We'll see. I also just noticed right now in real time um, that my high school went away. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if other things are gone. What the hell? The AMC, all of this stuff is gone, and I don't know why. Well, okay, I just realized that today. So that's fine, because I kind of have a new high school that I wanted to put down, and I'm going to change it back to the other high school's name. But it's kind of annoying that those things went away, because now I have to replace them. I think it's because... oh. Another thing, I guess because I saved too much on this particular file and not did a new, like, you know, save as, because they always say it's good for you to every now and then do save as instead of save. So, like, your files don't go crazy and get over a cluttered. And I was forgetting to do that because as I'm making stuff for, like, LPs and stuff, I'm also creating. So, a creator brand is more like just save and go. And I shouldn't have did that. So my game was not saving. I'm like, what the heck? And it was because I needed to start a new save as file. And that, to be honest, could be the reason why some of those things are gone. But I just noticed that. So those are things that I have to fix. But those are the problems occurring. I think this is like a good thing for me to share with you all because it is not easy trying to make a realistic world in the sims because so many things change so many things need updating and yeah it could be difficult at times but thankfully this time around it's not so bad um but I think what I'm gonna do now that I know those things are missing is I'm going to go and replace the things that went away. <laughs> so I'm going to have to put back um, the prison that was here because that went away. 
That's it's just so weird. But I'm assuming it's because of how things saved, maybe. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to change this to the prison that was here, this to the AMC theater. Um, this was blank, so I definitely need to make that blank. And then, um, I don't know, did it take away anything else? Oh, that's my little bookstore. I don't know if I placed anything else. No, no, no. All right. So as you see, some of these worlds are just an absolute mess. And our goal is to get them not a mess. Okay. And I'm going to take y'all along the journey. So I'm going to replace the things that are missing. So I'm going to do that. And I'll probably see you after because I have another thing I have to do after that. So these Ultimate Sims World videos are meant to be sort of a way for you to see what I do in my save file in a day or when I have the time to work on it. And today, because um, I did this all in like one day, well over the last few days, I decided to test out these mods that had to do with like a functional daycare. like. A daycare active career which I have been dreaming and wanting active careers to be a thing again because a long time ago if you've been in the community as long as I have you know that there was a fashion designer mod by Brit Pinky Sims and Brit Pinky Sims who is no longer in the community but when they were they had that career and people have been keeping it up to date but it's like so it's like very older and it was an active career so it had like its own custom objects and its own custom things that you can go to work and do and recently i think people have figured out the tea and they've been making active careers and i'm so excited to be testing them um today in this video i'll be testing the toddler career one it's like a daycare mod and um i wanted to make over this townie because she was giving me like she would be a daycare teacher and i ended up expanding my new crest like my new crest is almost filled up y'all like it's crazy so i did replace the lots that i was supposed to replace but i also went and made over this townie and she ended up like really just creating me like filling up my new crest even more like it's crazy my new crest is gonna be done before my oasis springs which was not my plan but it's more easier since new crest is like more suburban or whatever but anyway, um, yeah, I, so I made over this townie really quickly because I wanted to, you know, have her be the daycare worker, which the mod I'm going to show later and like all the toddler things, at little toddler objects that I found I'm going to show later. So yeah, this is me making over this cute little sim or whatever. I also have to adjust to the fact that it is fall in my game now. So a lot of people need to have fall outfits, but she was in her hot weather outfit and now I'm about to give her a fall fit. So this is the sim we ended up making over. I think she came out super cute. And today I'm gonna be testing out a new mod, which is a daycare active mod. And I have a bunch of toddler activity things that I want to test out. Don't mind her little phone, y'all. She just, my overrides are glitching with something i finally figured out it's glitching with like the overlays and stuff that comes with the twitch streamer mod so i'm gonna have to take that out but um yeah so she's gonna be going to this active daycare career i have her in this house that i have in newcrest and she'll be going to this career today period as you see it is an active career i'm so excited for active careers to be back and i have this daycare that i found um i'm gonna see if i can get y'all the link but it's been so long like i've had this daycare for forever to the point where i have to like replace some of the 
chairs and stuff because I, I, it's, it's so long ago that I updated my game and chairs was fixed and stuff. So, yeah, um, we're going to the daycare. Now, I do have to see if the mod has been updated because it is a little glitch with the UI, but I haven't seen them update anything for Cottage Living. This mod was, like, all done up before Cottage Living. Maybe they have had an update. Y'all, it's been a couple days since I filmed this, so I'm going to have to see if they do have an update. But the thing that I'm testing out today, along with the whole mod of the daycare, is I found this person who, do the, who does these, like, um, kind of activity objects for toddlers and I ended up pledging to them because I saw on Twitter that they had changing tables and it was like an old changing table animation and then they had like little drawing palettes and things like that that I think are gonna be super cute for toddlers in the household but also if you have like a daycare in your world so um Right now, I'm just placing some of those objects down. All the stuff that I'm talking about in this video will be linked in the description box below. But I did end up pledging to them. They had like these cute little toddler mats. And um, they had like really, really cute um, little activities for them to do. A little trampoline. The thing I really wanted to see though was like the changing table. Like I was so excited for that. So let's get into the mod. I think the mod is super cute. I love that there are other employees there. Now the thing about doing this daycare thing, which I've also noticed when you do daycares with Little Miss Sam's mod, is that the toddlers sort of glitch and come back and forth and jump over the place because I believe that's when the Sims are sort of like bringing them home. Um, so that is a little annoying, but if you can get past that it is actually a really cute mod um i will say i did have some problems with it in the beginning because i was greeting the students and the employees but it wasn't applying because i had the proper trait on her and with the proper trait um which is a custom trait you can't really say hi you just bow which is weird so I had to take it off of her and eventually it did apply. But um, as you see the toddlers, they're walking around, they're playing with things. The employees, they really weren't as interactive, maybe because the place is so big, but you know, they were around, they were cleaning, they were talking to the toddlers. I love the task that they have. Um, the top of the task is to take like the two hour training program on the computer and I ended up doing that and you can also take attendance <laughs> my heart okay um so yeah I just I just love the effect of active careers I wish we had more in the sims but even the ones that we get for modders or from modders it just makes me so happy so I think the mod is worth getting, especially if you want something new for your Sims to do. I am gonna change their career outfits to scrubs though, because hello, it's a freaking daycare and I think it would be cute if they wore scrubs. But the toddlers did run around and do things. Um, if I had more time to play with this, which I didn't at the time, I would definitely play it up, like do lunch time, do nap time you know talk a little bit more but i had that glitch with the proper trait where it was like why is this not applying my stuff so um yeah let me show you all the changing table so i'm just gonna say this changing table is probably one of my favorite little activity things that has 
come out for the toddlers. It is so cute. They added the little accessories so you can have like the wipes on the table. And it's like a real wiping animation. I think they said they took this from an earlier game, but I don't know. I love how they hold the legs crossed because you know that's usually how you change a baby's diaper. Of course, I do wish this was like the actual babies. Um, you know, I had to take my little pictures, but I love this. I love that you can basically just change your toddlers like you should. Imagine doing this a stay-at-home mom or just a mom in general changing your child in the morning. Like, y'all already know if you've been on the channel that I love family gameplay. I love anything that has to do with expanding a family story. So this changing table is definitely adding that so i'll leave a link down below because i did join their patreon i think it's early access right now not really sure so the last thing i want to show you all that i've been doing in my ultimate sims world is the start to building my um forgotten hollow which is going to be sort of like a mystic hall true blood mix in events i'm going to have like a vampire uh, uh it's the x club oh god ah! i'm gonna have like um you know like a little bar that's particular to forgotten hollow it's gonna be very much supernatural based and i've been playing with this mod because i'm like if i'm gonna play with supernatural things i don't want them to be basic so i basically went and found this mod and it's called witches versus fairies and it expands on the witch mod on on the witches in this game they're not spellcasters they're witches and as you see i have the girl that i've been using reading her spell book and there's like a whole process you have to go through to even make your some a, a witch i mean i can show you all in a in another video if you want me to but i'll leave the mod link down below and i mean y'all like she has to go to an altar and like ask for help she went to the fairy land to eventually become like a real witch or practicing witch and she has a witch uh level skill and she also you know can advance her power um her house looks busted y'all because I was doing this as a rags to riches, but then I was like, um, I don't have time for that. So I decided to base her house off of the houses that I found in Salem, which is, of course, where the witch trials were. The houses are super, like, cute and kind of get witchy, so I'm super excited about building that. I might do a video on it, I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, I just... This sim has been fun to play with. I've just been playing with it on my own time. Um, if you know Bonnie Bennett from Vampire Diaries, I basically made her a Bennett witch. <laughs> her last name is Bennett. And yeah, her ancestor, I ended up like remaking her and she's a, a Bennett witch. Um, so it's been really fun and I'm excited to show y'all this part of my world that I've been slowly working on i think next is like me getting the vampires in and starting the club and everything like that um but yeah i'm just gonna show you all like her practicing her magic and i found out with this mod that you can basically to get up like your strength you can draw from the elements so it was really windy this day and she was able to draw from the wind to kind of access more of her power like they thought this whole thing through is so intricate of a mod so definitely check it out um it is free so i'll leave a link down below they keep it updated it's updated for college living um i haven't explored the fairy thing because that's really not my thing um but yeah the witch part of it it's it's been hitting and you can actually like battle witches and battle fairies and it's like an actual like more of a duel than the spellcaster one i'm so excited that this is now in my world and as you see we are getting there we're getting there we're, we're conquering each world as we go 
So I think that's where I'm going to end it, you guys. This is a bunch of footage that I've taken over the last, I don't know, week or so. Um, I'm always steadily working on my world, especially since LPs like Soul Ties are within my world, um, which a Soul Ties episode is coming soon, y'all. But um, I do just have to put out there that the reason that I haven't been uploading and have been more focused on my Patreon content is because I'm going through something right now with my grandmother who's really sick right now and it's kind of hard for me to get on I don't know like a microphone and be like very happy and things like that especially because we can't be around her because of regulations with the hospital and stuff like that and every day I'm just like hoping that it gets better um and it makes me really sad and I don't really like talking about it but the sims and um be making content is a way for me to sort of manage my anxiety through that so I've been just you know creating and been more to like myself um especially with my anxiety on like hoping that she's okay but um yeah I'm hoping that gets better so I can give you all an episode but for now this is what I have for you um hopefully uh, by the end of this weekend she's much better so I can get back to you know having a little fun but otherwise than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for who've been like coming to the channel, checking out my my stuff, my old stuff. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys. Nah, 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 no. I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let him take my soul.